Oh, this is the Darth Vader. Check, 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 check. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. Okay, fire us up. We're not even live. Sean's mic is live. Tim's mic is not. Peter gave me a hat. Uh oh. What do we got here? Did you see my hat? Ah, oh, where's mine? I'm not allowed to tell you. Uh, <laughs> looky here, we got a Nomad pulling in. 55, 56 Nomad? That's 57 Nomad.
Yes. Let me go. All right, there's a test. You hearing okay? Welcome, folks. We're going to have Sean. Pardon me? Can we hear it in their headphones? Hang on. We're, thank you, folks, for tuning in. Sean and Tim will be joining you momentarily. And there we go. Yes, you can hear great in these things. Very good. All right, this is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. What is it? Too high? Uh, too low. Oh, then turn the dial right at the top. There you go. This is a test. This is a test. All right.
Hold on one second. Happy Friday, Niagara Graffiti. Hell yeah. We're coming to you live from the Frontier Fire Hall out on Liberty Drive. We got the uh, tribute for the first responders and for the veterans. Uh, Steve Barnes, the uh, Classic Car Club's putting this on. We got Touch a Truck going on. I see we got St. Johnsburg Fire Company here. Got their big equipment truck here. We got another big old yellow fire truck out front. I didn't see who it was from. Western New York Justice League is floating around. Yeah, we got uh, the Sheriff's Department, Niagara County Sheriff's Department. They got a SWAT vehicle, an undercover Dodge Charger. Got Mounted Sh unit. Sheriff Felicetti's here. I've seen Mike Benedict walking around, county judge candidate. Now we got Falls City Councilman Ken Tompkins Council is in the house. Council Chairman Tompkins is here. And then we've got a retired city police officer, Mr. Dan Jones. I saw him cooking. Making up hot dogs and hamburgers they got for sale. Got a 50-50 going. We got basket raffle. Uh, we've got, um, there's a, I seen a lottery ticket tree yeah, that they're raffling yeah. off tickets for. That's, That's going to be for standing. tomorrow. There's an event going on here tomorrow on 9-11 here at the fire hall. They're having a band starting to play. I can't remember what the band's name was. But um, they got a band going to be here, I believe, till 11 o'clock tomorrow from like 9 to 11. Nice. They're going to be doing another tribute here. They're going to have the Honor Guard here. Uh, lots of stuff happening out here at the Fire Hall on Frontier Drive, Niagara Frontier Fire Hall. Got a pretty good selection of cars out here. I see we're going to do a walk around here in a little bit. I'll show some people some cars. We got uh, some Jeeps. I see we got quite a few Jeeps over yeah, here. Over on the backside. We got a lineup of uh, Camaros. We got 45th anniversary, 40th anniversary, and a 50th anniversary Camaro. Well, also the the Bumblebee Camaros here. Yep, that's one of the, the anniversary Joker's ones. The Joker's Camaros here. The Hulk. Hulk. General Lee. Oh, we got all kinds. Of, we got a 23 T bucket sitting here with a nice big 350 small block built Ford Tough with Chevy stuff. Big tunnel ram on it. Somebody's got a Corvette here. It's got a nice big Pro Charger underneath the hood. Parachute. He's got slicks on the back. We got your Camaro right there in the front of us. Yeah, we got a white turd convertible. It's just a shiny turd. Steve Barnes walking around. Looks like he's doing another live right now. Yes, sir. He's uh, he's We're one of the big organizers. I got a picture of all the trophies. They've got about uh, 10 to 12 trophies I've seen up there for different sponsors. Yep. We got Nickel City Dolls that are walking around selling the 50-50 tickets. Well, as soon as Mr. Barnes is done with his recording at some point here in a little bit, we're going to have to get him over here and, and, and chat with him. Absolutely. We also got uh, fireworks on the schedule for tonight. I believe he said 9 o'clock. after Wasn't the. I? I think he said 9 o'clock it said. Uh, they're going to be shooting off some fireworks. Um, they're uh, they're going to be having some some burnouts. I think I'm I'm thinking some of these guys look like they had a heavy right foot. They look like they want to get out there and light their tires up. So well, I know Mr. Barnes said he was going to put the rubber to the to the road here. And that little tea bucket over here. That is a beaut. It is, and you know what? I was looking at it, and the first thing I noticed, it's got the original old Halla brand mm -hmm. aluminum slots on it. You just don't see those anymore. We got a, I see a red Volkswagen over here, red and black Volkswagen, got a, a bubble top on the top of it, some kind of a luggage holder, and uh, there's a lot of nice cars. We got dump truck. They are doing the touch a truck program, which means yep. you bring the kids out, they will let them come up. We got the SWAT vehicle that's open up. They're letting the kids in those. And, oh, and they got the St. Johnsburg uh, fire rescue rig right yeah, here in front of us. It's absolutely completely open for the kids to see how the fire trucks function, what the purpose of the different compartments are what's in there they're actually giving demonstrations and explaining to the kids and we got the general lee here that is a the beautiful general car. lee actually showed up that is a beautiful car definitely lots of but things there's a, to there's do a lot of beautiful cars out here Absolutely. yeah and they got food going and drinks and 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 like we said demonstrations they're they're we are going to pull some people over here and talk to them hopefully we'll get mr benedict over here and the sheriff and uh you can't miss kenny i see him if you look way off in the distance in our camera, you don't feed have right to now. look very hard. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard and, to miss that fellow in the big blue shirt. And then he's got his wife Terry right there, say, right behind him. Absolutely, the beautiful Beauty and the Beast situation going on there. <laughs> don't you call Terry the Beast? Oh no, definitely <laughs> Kenny's not. Kenny's the beauty. You know I, that. I love Miss Tompkins. <laughs> but yeah, we're out here. We're going to be out here for quite a while. Me personally, I'm going to be out here till at least the fireworks are going off. Hey, don't um, know for sure how long we're going to run a podcast, but by God, we'll be here. I will be out here until Peter says it's time to wrap, gentlemen. We don't. I'm not even leaving then because I'm not. I'm not leaving. I'm staying for the fireworks. I want to see fireworks. There's this no fireworks is, going off over to Falls, so this we is might as well enjoy them here. This is absolutely oh, this your is element. Listen, I, I want to tell you, people. When we when when 
we got here. I almost expected Tim to be here before us, <laughs> but when Tim pulled in, you could see the Christmas in his <laughs> eyes. I tell you, the one that really lit me up. You see, the Wardells got their old uh, panel truck over there. Yeah, yeah, the old oh, yeah. Nomad panel truck. That's a beautiful vehicle. That and I've seen. Uh, there's a really, really super nice '74 Corvette sitting up there. I saw. And uh, there's oh, the a, red one. Uh, there's yeah. a, yes, the red one with side pipes on it. And I also seen the the '58 Corvette. I believe it is sitting over here. We got a '63 split window sitting over here. Got a few Camaros. There is a white white convertible Camaro here, '95. I think I know a little bit about that car. Um, there's a the few of the another car club that showed up here. A few of their members, the uh, 716 Wolfpack. Wolfpack yeah, they the uh, they've got a few of those here. Actually, my son and myself are members of that, as well as uh, I am in with Steve Barnes Club as well. Uh, you know, I'm a car enthusiast. So oh yeah. We got a beautiful baby blue convertible Mustang. I can't believe how clean that car is. It's I just, can't believe they actually put a Mustang in here. Well, there's, there, I'm sure there's going to be more by the time it's over with. <laughs> they are still rolling in. and Yeah, oh yeah. You know, we got some, some really nice Jeeps over there. These guys, they, uh, it's a Jeep club here in uh, Niagara County. And they've got a few of them over there. I see, uh, what is that, the Workhorse? The silver one there, what's that one say on it? Yes. Workhorse or something? I can't read it. I'm, I I need glasses. I'm I'm one of those old guys. I, I gotta start thinking about getting it some looks glasses. Like that. I have to get over there and check it out. Yeah. Here in a second. That's that's actually like quite a distance. The orange one there says Tigger on it. I can see that one. Yep, Winnie the Pooh. The Tigger and Winnie the Pooh. And if you can see him walking up right now, here comes the the Western New York Justice League. Yeah, they're off to the right. I don't know if they're in the camera view or not. Ah, they were walking up. I. And we got Mr. Jackson here too. Yeah. Action Jackson is here. Look at him. He's looking at me like, "What you talking about, Willis?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding off in the, in, the, in in Tim's uh, CRV. But if you uh, if you get on the live feed, you're going to start to see the uh, Justice League characters that are walking by the white convertible there. Uh, got several walking through there. I know. I see. We got Thor carrying his hammer and. And then we got uh, our superhero himself, Mr. Peter Green. Peter Green, the Wizard of Vox. The wonderful Wizard of Vox. Look at him. He is the man. But y'all come on out here, check us out, join us. You want to come up, sit down, say hey on the podcast. We'll be more than happy to have you around. Yep. Come out, bring the kids out. I think the kids are going to enjoy this, especially when they start shooting off fireworks and stuff. I'm waiting for some of these guys to line up out here. I'm going to smell some tire rubber. Nothing like the smell of tire rubber. Oh, yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see uh, who who pulls who with what. Well, we got uh, Sheriff Felicetti here, and I'm sure he's going to make sure everybody stays nice and safe. So uh, Safety is always a top priority. I just want to see who wins. (laughs) If you ain't first, you're last. (laughs) Well, we'll see. I I want to see this black Corvette, that Pro Charger Corvette over there. Oh, I want to yeah. see him get out. He's got a parachute on the back. She can't. I, I think he's uh, he's no joke. I don't think that one's gonna be a joke. I think that one's gonna haul some some mail with that one. Oh yeah. But things are starting to pick up now. We got people starting to roll in. I see we got a big silver dump truck pulling in. Looks like one of the ones from like the city has, but ours are obviously yellow. But um, big bring old the USA kids out, flag man. On the side of it. Oh, yeah. we got a little Toro Dingo over here. Looks like they're getting out. Let yeah. the kids uh, look at that thing. There's a couple different uh, uh, construction equipment over here off to the side. Yeah, we got the white old Ford dump truck over there. I think he's got a load of firewood in the back of it even. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I see it over there. Right next to that other white Ford. Look at that white Ford beside it. Well, that, that is one just, that's, what is just, that, a Ford down there? That's the, the older uh, right next to the um, where the sheriff's park. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Cars just aren't your strong. Cars just aren't your strong point. (laughs) Listen, folks, I'm here to tell you. I have to tell my family all the time, I don't know nothing about cars. Put gas in them and drive them. Change oil every once in a while. That's why when it goes out to the field, you guys will see Tim out there (laughs) explaining this shit. Oh, yeah, we got some good examples to give some good explanations. The one I really like, though, there's a 79 Z28 down there. Mm -hmm. My first car was a 79 Camaro. And the Z28, I look at the interior, and I just, I got flashbacks. I'm going to have to find one of those. I found the Geo Metro convertible that I used to have. Now I need to find myself a 79 Camaro that I used to have and get that all fixed up. And I mean, your Geo Metro is probably shit out by a Camaro. My That's little, how it starts. My little Geo Metro is a <laughs> cool car. It, 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 takes a, it takes a real man to be able to drive. That's you, like driving a pink car. Your, your Geo Metro mm-hmm. is like the love child of a, of a 
Camaro. <laughs> it's all good. It's bigger than a Yugo. Yeah, it's bigger. It's bigger than my Jordan somewhere. <laughs> no, if I can get all the bugs worked out of it, make it dependable, we're good. All right, that's Beck and Sons. Here we go, right in front of our blue on the side of it. There you go. Right Look in front of nice. our camera. Got the wheels all polished up on it. Looks like he was hauling some blacktop or something. He's yeah. got some dirt in there. That's definitely a work truck that gets in. Well, work. they don't make those things for the show. That's for sure. They make those things to work. Yes, sir. Just like the city ones. We got a lot of those in the city, and they work. I hope that little girl stays back. Get that little girl back so she don't get hit. <laughs> but come on down. We're at the Frontier Fire Hall on Liberty Drive. We're going to be out here. Like I said, I'm going to be here personally myself till the fireworks are going off around 9 o'clock or so. Not sure how long we're going to do the podcast for, but if you want to stop down by, join us, get on the podcast, come up and say hi. We're going to be here. Bring the kids. Let the kids have a good time. The, the, the cars alone. We need to yeah. teach these kids. This is what classic cars look like. It's not those little lawnmowers with fart cans on them. No, these are these are good old classic cars. The old green Mercedes down there, too, was really nice. And a lot of people out there, they, they say, what is it that we can do to stop? Like the situation that went on with the high school today. Stuff like this where you get out and experience things like this and you teach kids different things. Family-friendly events. Yes. That, that'll help. That'll help a lot of the problems that we have is when people actually get out there and spend quality time as a community. Don't leave your kids out to their own devices. Don't leave them with the knuckleheads in the neighborhood. they got bad intentions and bad ideas. Every once in a while I get a bad idea, but... I'm old enough now. We don't usually follow through with those. But let's see if we can get Steve Barnes over here. I see he's walking this way. We'll see if we can get Steve over here. Sounds about nice. He's about to come on over. I'm going to give up my headset and my seat, and I'm going to let you talk to him. Sounds good. Or do you want to talk to him? You're more of the vehicle guy. <laughs> Have a seat. Thank you. How you doing, Mr. Barnes? Cool. I'm doing good. How are you? Pretty good. We appreciate you having us come out here. Well, I appreciate you guys coming out. It means a lot. Like I said, I wish I, I would have. I was... It was my fault that it wasn't more of a line of communication because, like I said, Tim is the car guy. So, <laughs> no, it, it's all good. I appreciate you, Western New York Hot Rods Customs and Classics. Appreciate you coming out. This is all for our first responders and military, mm -hmm. and uh, we're here to support Frontier Volunteer Fire Department because they need all the support that they can get. Yeah, so. and and that, that's that's one thing that we get a lot downtown is when it comes to like the politics. People say, well, why can't we have a volunteer? department this is a volunteer department yeah and that then the volunteer departments don't get funded like like the regular departments so they definitely can use all the help that they can get yeah they rely 100 percent on funding from the public and yeah. donations speaking of donations i see we got a 50 50 drawing going who's uh who's the beneficiary on that 50 50 drawing frontier volunteer fire department this going right back to the fire hall right it here is. nice nice yep Got to come out and support your volunteers. They work just as hard as the other guys do. Yep. Just don't get as much credit. Right. Oh, and, and, and on top of that, they, they it, it's more of a passion for them to get out and do a volunteer work because they don't have the same. They don't get the same paycheck, same like, paycheck the, like, like the city firefighters do, but they all got the same training. Not that the city firefighters are bad. I'm not saying Absolutely that. Absolutely not. Saying is, when you do a volunteer thing, it's a different kind of love. It is. Well, the volunteers also don't, I don't think they have as much responsibility as what the city firemen do, right? They don't respond uh, to as many emergency calls. You guys have an ambulance crew that actually goes out where our city fire hall, the city firemen, they respond to, you know, cardiac arrest, things like that, trouble breathing, okay, yeah. as well as people that lock themselves out of their house. I've heard a couple of those calls go out. Yeah. Now, now this vehicle right here in the front, this hot rod, the yeah. custom one, that's yours? That's my 23T bucket, yes. Oh, that's absolutely That's our gorgeous. logo, that's with, our logo car. With the Halibrand wheels. Yes. Yeah, Love we're going to be lighting them up in the street soon. And it's built for tough with Chevy stuff. That's and right. Apparently my son wants to drive. <laughs> Best of both worlds. <laughs> So, See, we yeah. got some nice flags on there. What all flags you got on there, yeah. Steve? Well, I got the American flag, and uh, I'm a Freemason. We do all the charity work around the community, and I got the Mason Masonic flag there. I think we Nar know a Mason, too, don't we? Are you in the same group with uh, Mr. Archie? I am. Mm. Okay. Niagara same Lodge, Archie. Lodge Niagara. number 132, right on Colby and Niagara Falls. Very go. good. Yeah. Very active in the community. I know Sam's involved with a lot. He does uh, a lot of motorcycle toy funds and things like that. Yeah, the dice runs Yeah, we just stuff. had that August 29th. Very successful. Very, nice. very good. Yeah, we helped Meals on Wheels in Niagara Falls for that one. Very good. And, uh, so yeah. you guys aren't just some kind of group that just sits around and has meetings and does nothing. You guys are actually very active in the community. Yes. Yep. Now, yeah. let, let, let me ask this because you actually have a very beautiful car. But what is your favorite car here? 
My favorite car? Ooh, uh, I don't uh, wait a second. Wait a second. You can't do that because don't you have a trophy to give away there, Steve? I do have a trophy to oh, give away. Oh, we can't away. let the cat I'm out of the bag yet. No, 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 no. I'll let you know later when I hand it You'll out. More see cars are coming in. It's still early. We started at 4, yes, but... All the cars come in about 6, 6.30 when everybody gets out of work. Some of those yeah. people got a job. They got to come in to be able to afford these hot rods. They got to work during the day to be able to afford to buy the parts. Yeah, that's true. I just want to mention real quick, our club, uh, Western New York Hot Rods, Customs, and Classics, is a nonprofit 501c3 based in Niagara Falls. So everything we do is to fundraise money for local charities and food banks and anybody that needs help. Including the Niagara Falls Toy Fund because you guys made a big presence over at the Summerfest at the Sal Magley. Yes, and last year when uh, Summerfest was canceled, we ended up doing a cruise for them yes. and raised a significant amount of money for the Firefighter Toy Fund. Absolutely. Speaking of the Summerfest, here comes the man himself. Uh, yeah, Ken Tompkins. The man, the myth, the pirate. The pirate. Kenny Tompkins. Yeah, Who's that knucklehead he's walking with? Is that my knucklehead waiting Ms. Tompkins, Griffin? he doesn't mean that. Ms. No, Tompkins. no, 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 definitely not her. No, <laughs> but, I'm talking uh, the knucklehead in the tan hat and the sunglasses on. So if anybody, because you guys do do a lot of charity, is there any way that, uh, and we'll share it on the page later on, is there a link that people can go to with donations? Yes, we have a PayPal account. It's on our Facebook page, Western New York Hot Rods Customs and Classics Public Group. Um, so yeah, we accept donations. We don't really, we haven't really received any that much, so we're really poorly funded. Yeah. But we're trying to do our best for the community as best we can with what we have. Now, Steve, how long has your group been actually organized? How long have you guys been a 501c3? <laughs> One year. One year. So and you are a relatively new relative, group, yeah. just getting involved. We started last year when everything was canceled. There was no car shows. We started with what we call cruising for a cause. Mm -hmm. Every week we would cruise to a different location and raise money for a different charity. Uh, last year was our first year doing that. We raised over ten thousand dollars for I think nine charities. Damn, or a little ten grand. Yeah. That's what's up. And uh, this year we became an incorporated five hundred one c three just in December, and our membership grew from one to sixty within seven months. Well, I know one new member. That's me. There we go. Anybody can join. You don't I have just to have a joined hot up at the Summerfest at the Sal because I support the cause myself. Nice. Is a is a pair of Jordans okay? Because I don't drive. <laughs> That's fine too. <laughs> but this event, particular event, highway, right? This is free to the public. We we're inviting anybody in the public. We're here till nine o'clock. We're going to be doing fireworks at the end of the car show, so it's a little bit exciting. And like we said, everybody, there's 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 food. There's basket raffles. There's a 50-50. There's a lottery ticket raffle. And the point of it is, is that these firefighters are down here at a volunteer house, and they could really use your help. That's now, true. Steve, you also do, you used to do the car shows every Friday night at the Summit Park Mall, right? Yes. And yeah. that was relocated, I seen, to Jetport. Relocated to Jetport this year. We teamed up with Cataract Cruises, Cruisers out of Niagara Falls. Yep. Help them out and support them. We support all car clubs. And we that's every Friday night still, right? Every Friday night, five to nine you can start coming at four very good nice. so if you got a car you want to join up in a club good club that supports a good cause by all means get a hold of steve we'll put his info on our web page uh you can also catch him on facebook like i do steve barnes yes. and uh let him know you're interested in getting involved i mean they're not going to turn any volunteers away no. doesn't matter what you got you guys don't discriminate on cars we'll take not the ricers all. we'll take the old ones we'll take the new ones yeah just people that want to be motivated and get involved and raise some money for some good charities. That's and I'm right. pretty sure they take Mini Coopers because I think my yeah. sister belongs to a Mini Cooper club here. Yeah, we take anything. We yeah. don't discriminate against our cars. Uh, before I go, I wanted to thank Tonawanda Fire Department, Niagara County Sheriff. Uh, they brought their SWAT vehicles, their mm -hmm. mounted patrol, the horses, and their canine units. Uh, Wheatfield Constables are here. I want to thank them. And uh, St. Johnsburg Fire Company, Tri Community Ambulance, AMR. And Nickel City Dolls. Nickel City Dolls. Pinup Girls are here. I West New York thank Justice League. West, yep. Yeah, West New York Justice League. There's a bunch of cartoon characters mm -hmm. here, and I want to thank everybody that came in to support us. It's still, like I said, it's still early. We're here still till early. Nine. Yeah. We got 50-50 drawing that's going to be done, what did they say, 8 o'clock? Uh, it's going to be drawn at 8 o'clock, yes. Yeah, well, my money is going to be on me winning that, so that way I can donate it all back, yeah, because that's, that's what we're here to do, is we're here to raise money. Jackson was already counting it when I was buying the tickets. He Jackson's like, just going to have to be disappointed. You're going to have to t show that boy some <laughs> disappointment tonight and explain to him that somebody good did a good thing with that money, and yes, we're going to donate yes. it right back. Definitely. But bring your kids out. This is a family-friendly event. Bring the kids yeah. out. 
come out, check out the cars. We got lots of vehicles out here. Like I said, we got a lot of emergency vehicles out here. I see we got George's and Sons towing, just pull their tow truck in. Uh, we got just fire vehicles, sheriff's vehicles. We got an ambulance just pulled in. It is a family-friendly event. I can't stress that enough. And it is, as Steve said, free of charge. Free, and all the kids, sorry, all the kids can climb on all the fire trucks, play with the lights, shoot water from the water oh. truck, and oh, have don't fun. say that too loud. Jackson's within here. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to be down to the most exciting as possible. So. But we're going to have fireworks tonight. I know we haven't had fireworks over the falls in quite a while due to COVID. Uh, this is also COVID friendly. We are having people socially distance. Yep. If you're not comfortable, wear a mask by all means. We're not going to discourage anybody. Come on out, bring the kids. This is a family friendly event. Can't most, stress that enough. Most definitely. And, and Beautiful weather. And a lot of times I, I say this over and over again, and this is exactly why I bring Jackson out to these kind of events because they, he gets to see a community acting like a community without a lot of problems that we have, and that's important to these kids. I haven't seen only the law enforcement had bulletproof vest on. I, I think I'm feeling kind of safe think, around here. I kind of think Kenny has a bulletproof yeah, vest on. Well, SWAT's no, here, don't. so we're safe. We're good. SWAT's here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I seen the SWAT vehicle patrolling in the city of Niagara Falls the other night, yeah. down yeah, over, in the, over on 19th Street. They actually have SWAT vehicles patrolling. You want to see what these SWAT vehicles look like, how these officers stay safe? Yeah. Come on down. We got one here. Hop Come in. down, check it out. You can climb around inside of it. Like you said, they'll let you turn on the lights, blast the sirens, have some fun. That's right. All right, Mr. Barnes, we appreciate yeah, you sitting with go. us. I appreciate you, sir. All right, take care, Thanks guys. for taking Thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Right, we'll be walking around here a little bit. All right. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Tompkins. Come on in here. Come got, on, Kenny. We got a seat sitting right here for Kenny Tompkins, city council chairman. He wants to come in here. Sit down. Come on. We got a headset for you. There's a microphone. I don't know. We're not social distancing. We're all filled We're good to go. Listen, we both got big enough bellies to put three feet in between <laughs> the both of us. <laughs> Terry, graffiti. you don't have to be shy. You can come on over and say hi. Everybody okay, welcome. Niagara Falls no. City Council Chairman Ken Tompkins. Woohoo! The What's going pirate. on, buddy? How are you doing today? Good. Yourself? How are we doing? Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. Well, that's you a know. good thing. We are live. Look, we even got some other politicians walking oh, around. We got no, 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 no. Get it right. Wanna be. Well, future be. candidates. Future. Might future be. politicians. Future politicians. You know, you better be careful talking so, like that because Colin's going to be sitting beside you when she gets elected. And oh, she no, is, she's an L. I'm a T. We'll be quite a ways away well, from each depending other. Depending on well, who the chairman is. We, we can't kick me. <laughs> we, we definitely know that that smell's not coming from the horses. <laughs> Besides, yeah. I have seen the lines that Colin does with her tiles. She'll be too crooked to hit me. <laughs> oh, man. This is coming from the one eyed guy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what you got going on, Ken? Tell us oh, what's not up. Not much, not much. We just stopped down to support this. It's a great event, like you said. It's Ooh. very, very family friendly. It is. Uh, I tell you what took me though for a minute, made me just stop and say a prayer. Is there's a hearse over there with a uh, American flag draped on the back of the hall, and yeah. being 9/11 tomorrow, I mean that's pretty fitting for what he's got over there. Especially with the symbolic nature of the 13 that we just lost. A absolutely. Oh, I mean, it's, it's just something to see. Yeah. And there, there's a lot going on. There's the mounted horses riding around right now. And just seeing all the, the patriotism on each of these vehicles makes me... Just, makes you almost want to tear up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. A little. Not too much. Just a little. It's what it's about, you know? Yeah. You know one thing that I see missing here, and I actually said something. Why is there not a Pontiac, <laughs> a green Pontiac here? Oh, that's she a bought long that story. car, yeah. and she to hasn't brought through, that you know. to the shows. No, nope. to Summerfest she didn't bring it. She didn't bring it here. Well, I'm think, starting. Think she got that red Corvette over there, don't she? Yeah, that's her fiance's oh. car. Not but her you know, car, though. There's no, a difference. You, they're not married yet, so it's not technically hers yet. When they get married, <laughs> then it's hers. Only half of it's his because she gets all of it. But you know, you you should have put a reverter clause in that car that if it doesn't show up at our car shows. You got to take it back. If you don't drive it at least two hours a week, basically. <laughs> well, the one thing with her is she is the woman of a thousand excuses. Yes, I've noticed that. Yes, yeah, she's always has the one excuse or another. But you know no what? She shows up. No comments made on this podcast or reflected. But she by does that. show up to take pictures and You're she trying does to do steal good pictures. Line. <laughs> if we, I don't know if anybody can see, we got the horses, the mounted patrol oh, yeah, gonna, walking past now. He put the camera right on them bad boys when they pass by. And then we got some Nickel City animals. dolls that are walking there in front of us as well. Yep. So did you get any 50-50 tickets, Ken? 
No, yeah, I still got to walk over there and get everything. You got 50-50. I, did buy, I there's... did buy for the tower. They got the 9 the lottery tower, tower of the lottery tickets. Yes. Now, that's a deal. Five bucks for a shot at is $400, $400 worth, worth of tickets. And Jesus. that's going to be awarded tomorrow. You'll probably get your $5 back. No, I, would, I, would. I would think so. Well, you know what? This is New York State, and they are a little tight. So That's true. That's true. <laughs> But that's going to be, they're going to be drawing that tomorrow when they're having the event here tomorrow. they got a band playing tomorrow. They're going to be having another 9-11 celebration here, uh, right here at Frontier Fire Hall on Liberty Drive. We have the city one tomorrow at 945 at the Royal Avenue Fire Hall. If anybody would okay. like to stop, I've uh, been to it the past five years. It's a very, very yeah. somber ceremony. That's the bell ringing. We got all the it's firemen very, in full very uniforms, somber. and you know we've had we have firemen that are still active duty that actually went to 9/11. Went in three of them weren't there? I believe it was. I think it was three guys that went down. Thankfully, they haven't had any after effects from like some of the other people have experienced from down there. Uh, you know, they may not have had there. any physical effects, right. but yeah. can you imagine mental, what they had to see? The mental and emotional stress. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to take a toll. Even well, after 20 I, years, it's still fresh. A lot of people also don't take into consideration that for a lot of firefighters, that's a daily thing. And I've talked to somebody like Earl Bass about it, and I don't understand how somebody like him, and a lot of firefighters are really positive people. You know, they're, they're very... You got to have something a little bit special that you're yeah. willing, because I don't know about you, if I see a building on fire, I don't run not, that yeah. way, I run the other way. Yep. Yes. Well, well, these that, guys when, go they for run it. When you to constantly got to be one of the first people there for an overdose and you're, you're dealing with somebody's last few seconds, of, that has to be a lot on them. And, and a lot of people don't take that into consideration, especially with a volunteer fire department. Years ago, uh, I think it's seven years ago, it'll be seven years this uh, Thanksgiving. I was in a really bad car wreck mm -hmm. uh, on the Grand Island Bridge. It was iced over some periods. It was a 54-car pileup. And we're off on the road in terrible conditions. Everything's frozen. And them firefighters came up. And, you know, and they, they, took care, they took care of my family when I couldn't take care of my family. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget them. And I'll never, never not remember. And, I mean, they're carrying me out of the car when it's nothing but sheet ice. And, you know, they take care of it. And they you're not a care. small sack of potatoes. No, I am not, not a small means. sack of potatoes. Especially back then because you have slimmed down a lot since since. But this is, like I said, this was this was something to be seen. But, you know, they didn't think anything of it when it was that no. hard oh, of a no, day. That's the training. There. That's never the character and the there. training of our fire, our emergency personnel. They run right in and... and, and People that complain would run right the other way, like you said. You know, and some of these people that want to complain about the salaries that they get paid, you know what? Wait until you need them, and then try and say, "Oh, you guys deserve a, a pay cut when they're they're you know treating you for a heart attack or a stroke or your well, house is on fire." Well, I do think Earl Bass might make a little too much, but that's just Earl Bass. <laughs> just a just little him. bit too much. He, he you know. he's probably got extra stipends for something, I'm sure. Well, I mean, he's a member of the school board, so you know he makes like a million dollars a week. They get, but well, that school he took board a pay is cut. a volunteer. Is a volunteer. <laughs> oh, you mean like the water board people, the water board executive board? Those are volunteers as well. Yeah, Those but the water positions. The water board doesn't doesn't do anything that has to do with our kids' future. Well, well dude, I took well, showers. My kids do. took <laughs> showers. Right. I, thought I don't about know it. how it is in your house. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it when I was saying it. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, actually, Poor Jackson do. doesn't get any water. I'm, I'm going to turn you in. I didn't, <laughs> know, <laughs> I didn't notice an outhouse out back in <laughs> your place. If you didn't look out back. If you, go, if you go back out there, it smells like one. I don't know what the hell's going on over on 7th well, It's probably that illegal business being operated on the first floor. No, that's, they're all permitted. Oh, they got permits yeah, they're, now? they're all good and clear. Woo-hoo, for the proper business that they're actually running, I you wonder? Should, you should have seen the mayor. He was down there eating food. Oh, real? oh, at the, oh that's at the little tiny house restaurant. Yeah, I, I'm talking about the club that they oh, like to yeah. run down there. I don't think that's a legal business, well, is they it? put a new restaurant in over there? there? There's a little food truck out there that does uh, it's it's a little tiny barbecue. house. Oh, it's a little they food truck? ribs and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's a tiny house trailer. You didn't call me. I don't <sighs> do it. You didn't call me. Oh. <sighs> You know I have a weakness for ribs. Well, I mean, I, I kind of figured that you. Hey, have a weakness speaking for ribs, of ribs, you can smell them. <laughs> do those Levex sisters do the ribs? Are they? Did they put ribs on their menu? I didn't see. Where's I that? I know at? the the Levex sisters. I don't know. I've seen um, they made some revisions to their menu. They, they have a great menu, and I'll put that up on the page later on. And I'm here to tell you, them girls are phenomenal cooks. If you've not tried, tried my niece's food, you just got to order it, and they'll deliver it, and it's absolutely it's it's good for being two teenage 
Oh, you know what? <laughs> Guess what? You got a grand opening in process. Well, it's not a grand opening. It's a pre-grand opening going on. Polify. Paul Cadella's yes. got Polify going right now. Yes. Yeah. I wonder what time it's open today. It is from 4 to 9, I believe I read. And today oh. they had barbecue pulled pork macaroni and cheese and extra cheesy macaroni and cheese. Well, I think I I'm believe. going to leave here and I am going to go I back. think you're going to go bring me back some because I'm stuck <laughs> here for a little he, while. He How much like, chance do you think you got of that actually making it back? Well, <laughs> Kenny looks like he needs macaroni and cheese. But I you would know think what? of the pulled pork. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure, that's sure. what I want to try is the barbecue pulled pork. <laughs> that, I've seen that. And I think tomorrow they have lobster macaroni and cheese, I believe. I'm not a fan of that. Never been. Oh, I, I don't like Italian and seafood. Well, yeah, the I problem, had the problem from, is that, that you're not... Hey, we're too far in inland that you're not going to get any fresh crab lobster lobster so it well actually like they're crayfish he's out in guilt yeah, creek right crickets. now picking up the crayfish the ditch crickets. that makes sense that's what he's going to do no, be, no, man. no one paul that's you know if he, i was going to say paul is going to figure out a way to make it cost efficient yeah of course <laughs> you know, that's paul what, is a true conservative that, type. That, that's what uh lieutenants do but no. I'm going to let you guys go because now you got me hungry and I'm going to have to take my I, wife out. Don't for leave some before I give you some Mike money. Mike is I want you to around with a big old smile on his face. I've been waiting to talk to this man for a long time, too. Mr. Benedict? Yes, sir. Yeah. Truly a good man. You, my Truly a good man. Hey, thanks for stopping by, that. buddy. See you guys later. Appreciate you, Kenny. Hurry up and get that 73 Chevy Stepside pickup truck done so we can start getting that in the shows. Oh, well, Mr. Benedict, we got a doing? new we have a new Sonic. guest showing up here. Mr. Benedict. Oh, yeah. Anybody that has Facebook has heard a lot about my troll self. <laughs> How's everything going? Well, let's give him a proper introduction. We got Mike Benedict. He was running for Niagara County Court Judge. Yes. He is running against John Taviano. They both uh, split the ballots when they, when they went or split the vote when they had the primary back in June. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I really thought him and Janelle won already. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm Janelle sorry. was city court, and Mike and John <coughs> yeah, are I running for really county. Was. Yep. Right. Because uh, who courts. who you're looking to replace? Uh, John Mur or uh, not John Murphy? Matthew J. Murphy. Matt Murphy. Okay. Yeah. Judge Murphy's going. He's uh, is he timed out now? Yes. He, un unfortunately for the, the county of Niagara, you know, he's been in there for many years and doing a, a, a fine job, but. Uh, the, His time the law is mandates up. mandates that he can no longer serve Those in that position. Those nasty term limits that we should put on a lot more politicians. <laughs> Absolutely agree with it 100%. Yeah. So what you got going on, Mike? How's the campaign going? It's going well. You know, I think, you know, Sean talking about uh, Janelle and the city court mm -hmm. race and, and the county court race, and I think that's one of the things that I, I try to talk to people about is because there's, there is confusion for, for yeah. many people, many voters, in terms of what the race is about, what the position is about. So mm -hmm. a lot of what I'm doing is a voter education, really. You know, one thing to get out and vote, mm -hmm. another thing to get out and vote with knowledge and an understanding of what's going on. And Educated so voters what are what do. we need. We And that's definitely what we've lacked for a long period of time in a lot of different ways. Is yeah. just, just, just people that have done the job, because you, you, you've been, what, Clerk, I've been, been a court clerk for uh, the retired Honorable Sarah Sheldon for four years. So, you know, again, I'm educating people and say, well, what the heck does a court clerk do? do? Uh, you know, I'm doing the research. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking with the attorneys. I'm figuring out what the legal issues are, what what hearings need to be held. How do we get this case to go to Advising the judge Advising as well. Advising the judge and writing decisions and doing everything that a judge would be doing up to the point of signing the decision or decreeing an order on the bench. So you're like a, uh, a doctor's assistant if it's... Like a judge in training. Okay, so he's already a judge. He's a judge in training. The right hand, the right hand man of the judge is, is you know, a way that it's been termed in the past. So, you know, everything that the judge, the judge is sitting there on the bench hearing testimony day in and day out. It's a trial part. It's a criminal trial part. All the most serious felonies, all felonies, are going to be heard in front of a county court judge. So, you know what else I know a county court judge does? Signs pistol permits. Lots and lots of pistol permits. Handgun permits. permits. Here goes Tim with his Second Amendment rights. You know? <laughs> well, I remember speaking to Mr. Murphy when I got my pistol permit. He actually took me in and spoke to me because there were some, some things we needed to talk about. And um, he, he did me right. They did the investigation proper. They just didn't really much care for my military experience or anything like that. So, But we had a talk, and he says, you know, we're going to watch it for a little bit. I said, watch away. We'll go out so, for dinner every week if you want. I don't mind. You know, come over. I'll invite you home to my home anytime you want. So do you have anything coming up as far as, you know, uh, events to have people come? Uh, well, I'm actually speaking at the uh, the SAFE group in uh, Wilson at the Conservation Club. Second um, Amendment Forever. Correct. 
Uh, so I'm speaking there. That's a, an open event for people to mm -hmm. come and discuss, you know, things that they want to speak to. But the, you know, that's that's focused on Second Amendment, how things like pistol permits are going to be handled, or my viewpoints on things like that. Uh, in terms of you know events that I'm holding and fundraising I'm, we are going to do something in October it hasn't been set up yet but that's not really the focus of what I'm doing I'm trying to get out there and talk to, to the people going out and talking to the people not asking them you to know, come in yeah. and talk to me uh, the one thing I got to tell you is you showed up at my fundraiser when I was running for county legislator I have seen you at all these political events I've seen you you know here here at this car show I saw you the other day for uh, another candidate running for city council James Abadanza you were at his fundraiser you're not hard to find you are I, I i was kind of afraid that you were like stalking me set me up like yeah i'm gonna get that some bitch when i get on the bench yeah i, I know what he what he looks like where he lives now you gonna know get damn him. well the only person that we got to worry about that with is janelle because i've not made no means oh. with my mr mike but you know i you are yeah. you are not hard to find i've seen you all over the place and you know people need to understand that you are not just Niagara Falls, City, Niagara Falls. Right. You are county. the whole entire Niagara County, which includes Lockport, Niagara right. Falls, uh, Lewiston, North you got North Tonawanda, you got Wheatfield, Sanborn, Cambria. You are going to be responsible. And I have seen you a lot in the city of Niagara Falls. I, right. I can just, I, you, are you married? You're married, right? <laughs> For the moment, your your wife's probably getting ready to follow. That might be your first case is deciding over your first di your divorce. No, because uh, I imagine she can't be seeing so, you a whole so lot. Supportive, and she, you know, she's we're, we're both working. We have taken care of two kids that are 11 and 13, and they've got their schedule. She's got her schedule. I've got my schedule, and you know, it, it's a lot doing it, running a campaign, and it's a lot for a family oh. to endure. And it's you can't do it unless you have somebody that's there that's got your back. And Good support system at home. There. Absolutely. But, but like you said, though, with with what you've already done with being a clerk of courts for for Judge uh, Sheldon, you you basically already have the routine of what a judge would do. So. In a lot of ways, you'd be the best qualified because you're going into a position that you've basically been assisting with this whole time. I believe so. I, like I said, it's a, a criminal trial part. So you're, mm -hmm. you're talking about people who could be sent to prison for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. You need to have that background. You need to have that experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's not just running a trial. It's running it the right way, mm -hmm. making a decision that's based in law. Uh, because those cases are going to be reviewed by the appellate division in the fourth mm -hmm. department and say, okay, did this judge make the right decision? If not, that case is going to be come back and, and being tried again. Mm -hmm. That means a, a witness coming back in. That means a victim coming back in. That means reliving you know, it. Yeah. yeah. And that's the way you came off when that, when I seen you, because I was at the avid debate. I sat way in the okay. back of it. And uh, you came off as more of a, you know, you got to weigh the rule of law with what's going on and we, in, in the person, you know, in, Everybody's entitled to due process. Yes. I mean, that's what this country was built on. The opportunity Innocent to be until heard. proven yeah. guilty in a court of law. Who oh, cares yeah. about the court of public opinion? The court of for, law is for, where it matters. For an example, I, I've seen a lot of people going back and forth with the Cuomo issue. And, and I, I even said back, and I'm not a Cuomo fan by any means, but I had to tell everybody, listen, let, the, let, let it play out and then judge because you're going to have all the evidence and everything else. Right. And that's all basically what your, what your job is boils down to is mediating the courtroom keeping everything flowing properly and weighing and judging the the evidence and when you're sitting there as a judge and you're law. bringing in jurors one of the questions that you're asking them is have you read about this in the newspaper mm -hmm. have you seen it on the tv to what, ensure what did you trial. learn about this and yeah. what did you what preconceived notions do you have that's coming in you know i've had people come up to me and ask me about different situations and i have to say look at i hear the same things that you do i don't know what the facts are i don't know what what is the actual uh fact pattern that happened mm -hmm. here we're all hearing this from a different source they're making their own assumptions on things this has to go into a fact-finding proceeding for somebody to make those determinations of what is and what is not before you start applying the law to yeah. that and that's what the, the job the job of the judge is not to do the fact-finding no nope. that's the jury that says these are what the facts are as we perceive them and we make that determination now judge it's up to you mm -hmm. to apply the law and, and you know sentence an individual or uh, release an individual because the law wasn't fouled. Yeah. Now, what is the term on your on for a county judge? It's a ten-year term. Ten-year term. So that that means that people, when you're going to vote, make sure you're educated. Get to know these candidates because 
you got to deal with them for the next 10 years. Hopefully you don't have to deal with them, but should you have to deal with them? It's not that you can just impeach them. It's not like the president, you got to deal with them for four years. This is a 10 year term. And right. just to give you an idea, I, I messaged, I messaged you a while ago and you were like, yeah, I would love to meet with you. And it just never, the timing never was up. So he does answer his messages. Well, I wonder why you didn't have like time that. to meet with you. Gee, many Christmas, did you hear all the shit he's doing? <laughs> well, no, it was me. <laughs> he's not lucky he's got time enough time to him. stop and not, go to the bathroom, let yeah, alone meet with somebody. <laughs> I, I mean, I got six kids that I'm trying to keep out of his courtroom. <laughs> so, But I, I, I do want to make that point that it is a 10-year position, so people, you know, these types of uh, votes don't come up very often. Mm -hmm. uh, Judge Sheldon retired last year. Judge Murphy is retiring this year. Uh, and again, Judge Murphy has to retire because he turned 70 years, Seven years old. old. So that's another factor that people need to pay paying attention to is, you know, what is that? How old is the candidate? What experience do they have? Is there the ability to serve out the term that the people are asking them to serve out? Because that's no. the job you're applying. For. No, you're still and, and a young if you don't fellow. pay attention, we end up with somebody like um, the speaker, which is like <laughs> 89 years old. <laughs> You know, now, like, you are, you're still a young fellow. I'm 43 years so old. So you'd be able really? to run for re-election after your first term? I would be. Yes. It's still a 10-year term. You can be an incumbent right. and run again in 10 years. And So if I was if I was in office for two terms, I would be 63. You know, Then the question becomes, do you, do you run, run again? For because partial term. You're running, because at 70, you've got to get out. I have so to leave. That means there's going to be an appointment or a special election that's going on. And when you have those types of things happening, you're talking about an additional expense to the taxpayer. Right. We're having a special election special because it's not yeah. on the, the time frames that we normally do it. Right. Uh, and so I think that would be something that I would seriously consider not doing because of that aspect. When a vote, when the vote comes and they say we're voting you in for 10 years, and you can't honor that. I can only go for seven that's, that's because I'll be seven. That's something I think I would do at that point. But mm -hmm. step one is getting, getting out there. the vote and getting people to go out and vote now. Yes. Now, well, not now. November well, 2nd. November 2nd. <laughs> now, you can still register voters up until October 4th. Yep. And we and will be putting, because I got an email today with all that information, and we will be putting that all on there. Yeah, um, two weeks of early voting, the mail-in voting. Yep. That's still going to be around. So if people need a mail-in ballot, I'm sure you could provide them with a mail-in ballot application. We can do the fill application. Fill it out, send it into the county. They'll send you a ballot. You send it back to the county. They all matter. They all get counted. Yes, they do. Now, it would be nice if we can get you in the studio because we do an hour-long thing or maybe Sam Archie if you want to come in and you know, I would be happy to. to I think, you know, getting getting out the, you know, talking some more detail about what goes into the position mm -hmm. and what my qualifications and how I, I believe that they fit. Really, I think once once the voters understand that position and understand what goes into it, mm -hmm. having a conversation about myself makes more sense instead of just saying, this is who I am, you should go vote for me. Yes. Well, you don't know what the position is. Mm -hmm. I'm not running yeah. for and county that, corner with the... Uh, my in, a background. Lot, in a lot of ways, that's kind of why we, we floated this podcast, because a lot of people are uneducated. They go off a word of mouth, and they don't take the time to, to see what's going on with uh, with the candidates that they're picking. But we, like um, Sam just had a, a Assembly Memorianello on his, his podcast on Tuesday, and he gave, you know, it, what his position was pertaining to how he's supposed to oversee a court. You know, and I, a lot of people, I don't think, realize exactly what it is they, they assume that a judge is judge jury execution you better uh you better keep the judge close because i see you know, there's a bunch of badges and guns walking this way buddy and i hope they're coming for you because Listen, if they're coming for me um they can smell Janelle, the, i hope you can get a hold of me i might need your service they can smell the downtown on both of us <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> now county judges you guys don't you're not party politics at all party does not matter you can no, run on any is, line no this judge is, runs this is line. this is about the experience and qualifications it's about the person the not the party and they try you know try to take politics out of it because it, it's not a position that you want to fill with somebody that just has clout yeah uh, in in a political party because that's not that's a disservice to the people of the county if they don't have the experience and the qualifications so you run in all lines uh, you're not you know you can be affiliated with the party, but that's that's not their endorsement means nothing. You, mm. Anybody can run on that position right. and on that line. But you can be endorsed by other organizations and things, though, right? Yes. Did you I get can, any endorsements? I've I've received several endorsements. I've been in, endorsed by the Western New York Police Association. Uh, I've been in, endorsed by the uh, Lockport Fire Department. I've been endorsed by the Western New York uh, Retired Police Association as well. Uh, I have several union endorsements that are out there. Yes, you know, we I've, like unions. I've, I've talked, you know, 
and it comes from both sides, you know, union, police, fire, first mm. responders. Uh, it's because I think they have an understanding when I go and talk to them about the position and who I am, that, you know, whatever, whatever side or whatever angle you're looking at things, you're looking for fairness in the process. You're mm. looking for somebody that can take a step back and look at the facts and make a just Objectively, decision. yes. Yeah. And, and apply so, the law fairly and evenly. And I think, you know, endorsements are, 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 are all well and good, and it's the people that are behind those endorsements and the people in those groups that are going to be making the difference. So that's what really makes, makes them important to me is that I, I seek support from everybody, whether that's mm. Democrat, Republican, unions, fire, They could all show up in everyone. front of you at some point in time. And, mm. and make an informed decision. That's all I, that's what I care about. And that's what I, I, I think I have. justice does not know a political part. Justice I, is blind. Exactly. Didn't I see a, a, some kind of, I saw something about you being rated as well qualified. So I, I did go in front of the Niagara County Bar Association, which is comprised of attorneys that practice in, in Niagara County, in county court. Um, not specifically the, all of them, but most of them have been experienced in that. Uh, and they do rate all the different candidates. I was rated as the well-qualified candidate. Uh, my opponent was uh, did not re reach that rating. Uh, so you know there was a recognition, I think, in the bar association in terms of the. And these are the people the that would and be these, presenting in your courts. So these are they people that are practicing in those courts. These are people that are have been in those courts trying cases that understand the process, that understand the law that's that's being applied. You know, and I, I talk to people about this as well. You know, I talked to uh, I talked to the building and trades group the other day, and, and they have plumbers, they have electricians, they have carpenters, they have mill workers. Mm -hmm. Attorneys have all different facets and specialties as well. We have real estate attorneys, you have patent attorneys, you have criminal attorneys. Family court. Family attorneys. court. And I'm running for a position where it's primarily a criminal court, mm -hmm. and that's what my background and experience has been. So. You know, talking to them and explaining that and saying, look, at, you have your specialties, so do we. I think that I think when I, I spoke with the Niagara County Bar Association and, and they provided me with that rating, it was with that understanding of the position that I'm running for. Very good. Very, very good. I like that. Hey, we Dustin, got... Steve Barnes is about to pull his car out. Can you, can you switch? To, there you go. Sorry about that. Mr. The, the that beautiful okay. red 23 T bucket. This, this thing right here, I wanted to hear. He pulled it in and started. <laughs> and I, my whole body got goosebumps. I think we're going to hear a lot more about it. You know, he's, he's naturally aspirated. He's just got a tunnel ram with two four rail carburetors on it. It is a Chevy small block. Does have a nine inch rear end, and he just, just crushed, crushed the Pepsi the can. can. He's got the nice flag seat Obviously, in there. Obviously, he's not a fan of Pepsi. No, I don't think so. But let's see if he's going to light him up a little bit here. I think he's going out to the road to light it up. I think he's going to go out there and, uh, we'll put and it, we need some smell of burning rubber. I hear a siren, so the SWAT car is pulling out. I wonder if the sheriff's pulling up next to him. Well, they're probably going to block the road to keep everybody safe. Yep. Um, I, I certainly would want to talk with you guys more about the about who I am in the position and really go into in depth. So coming would, into the studio well, would be a fantastic. I we're going to have a that. hard time accommodating your schedule, so... <laughs> I will make myself available because, again, I think well, it's important to get that message out there. We, can, uh, we do Friday message. nights. We do yeah. from 7 to 8 o'clock over and we in have, Buffalo we have the Avenue. 22nd of October. Okay. It's sitting right now. So if you want to go ahead and fill I'll, that in, I'll, I'll write it you know when we get home. 22nd Absolutely. of October, I'll put it in the calendar. Appreciate you. Very nice to meet you. Hey, I appreciate sir. it. Good seeing you, Mike. You guys enjoy Very the good. rest of this event. Everybody, Thanks, buddy. Good luck in Niagara your election. Falls, Thank you. Niagara County County Court Judge Candidate Michael Benedict. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank Mike. You. We got another one that looks like she's sniping over here. I don't yeah. know. You can see her know. off in the background. Every time he flips it over there, she's over there playing with Jackson, so you kind of see her off in the edge. I'm kind of afraid to let her get behind <laughs> me. Because... I, I am absolutely guessing my son just tried to um, <laughs> flirt with Miss Ligamari by giving her flowers. <laughs> it is? Yeah, Jackson is a sweet boy. Don't you got a chair inside your own? Uh... It's over in the Camaro. I should go over and steal the kid's car, but I'm good. <laughs> you Pull up here? a chair. So, no, I'm good. Put a set of headphones on so you can hear what we Jackson. can, what we you say. Me flowers. Jackson, Jackson you've given her flowers? Listen, first we were playing Chase, and then he fell down. I think he's okay. Yeah, we're Jackson good. is a he's Romeo. Look, mm -hmm. he's mad. Look at it. He's mad. He is super jealous right come now. Come on up here, buddy. Jackson, come here. Bored. Come on. Do you want to come over and hang out? Let's you hang come out. over here and sit with us. You know she ain't gonna put them headphones on. Definitely not. Her and, uh, her and Janelle. No. Her and Janelle uh, Do you share don't like chair? headphones. 
Yeah, here, let's let's share. Yeah, see, that was his whole point was there giving you, go, you flowers. I'll and take that's, half, you, know, you take half. I better not wake up to him <laughs> inboxing you on Facebook. That'll be <laughs> Dad, can I see your phone? I'm playing a game. He was putting them in my purse. <laughs> He's so nice. He is. He's so we got uh, <laughs> council candidate Colin Ligamari. Hi. She is on the Democratic side Absolutely. of the ticket. Yes, and you saw me last Friday. I did. Yeah. I saw you last Wednesday. <laughs> and that was and a fun Friday. show. <laughs> yes. Besides the fact that we ran the mayor's thing for almost the entire show. That was, yeah, well, you know, we live, we learn. Yeah, you know. That's right. It, it will get you back in there soon and, and, and go into, after you win, we'll go into, um, what you plan on doing after you win. Right. You well, know, we can get you in there before if you got time. Well, listen, as soon as uh, I am done with knocking all the doors in the city, I think I'll have the time to do all the conversations and all the Okay, so we'll schedule you for like planning. November 10th. <laughs> well, we are hopefully putting together that debate. And I, I worked out the format. I did plan on sending it to everybody. But at this point in time, if John's going to run it, I'm not going to try to run behind John and do the same thing he does. No, you know, just as long as people get the information yeah, is what we're looking at. Yeah, that's the most at. important thing. It wasn't about outdoing anybody. We're not looking for the glory. We're just looking to get some information yeah. out. I'll be and here. Like we said to Mr. Benedict, that's the most important thing is getting out who you guys are, what you guys bring to the table. You know, this mic is so so off to me. I don't know why. No, and it is, and it's really, uh, it's really great that there are people like you guys that are out here for us to, yeah. you know, talk Bump to into. and have a platform to talk about mm. stuff with, and I love it. Huh, and we like doing it because we like we, well Tim. Maybe, we have an ego. We yeah. just we need to be heard. We need Tim, to be heard no matter what. Tim likes doing this because he likes torturing people. I but, don't torture anybody that bad. No, not that, that bad. Door. But it, you know, and it's again? it's. Well, Peter was the one that made the stuck. rule: no duct tape in the studio. If I could get duct tape in the studio, we could have a lot. What torture? Out, we what would have fun. On? Pull the, the lock Oh, they're okay. jousting yeah. or something here. It looks like. Oh, no, I was talking about Jackson not getting Oh, no, the listen, Jackson and I, are, we're on a whole different... Let me go. Let me go. Jackson will not be coming home about. tonight. Jackson <laughs> is going to go home and live a He was out of the car. I had to help him. We did a whole thing. <laughs> they locked eyes got, and it was over. We got flowers. Well, last time we hung out, we drew pictures together. <laughs> At the picnic table. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, we're old friends. <laughs> from way back, way back <laughs> in the day. You know. from, from a few months ago. <laughs> And uh, it's all good. Yeah, he's a great kid. I love Jack. He's fantastic. He does good sometimes. He's smart and artsy. He I was see telling it. me about your um, houses that you guys painted. Oh. Yes, we have quite a few of them that we have to get out. Speaking um, of painting, Colin, don't you, you have a specialty, don't you? Like doing bathroom tile? Isn't that one of your specialties? Listen, I heard that you <laughs> just had a pirate on here talking smack. I was about to say. Uh, I stood up for you. I told him. About I said, my he said, tile. He said it was going to be crooked. And when crooked, he left here, I, he couldn't even walk in a straight line. <laughs> That's what I told him. I he said, almost walked into you're going to criticize car. her tile being crooked from a one eye pirate. He wouldn't be able to see if it was crooked or not. Listen, it is the I straightest see we got some tile that up. he has yeah, ever we seen. We got him lining up. He's I see a good Steve's guy. Out there. We he got a Z28. I mean, he's a liar about bathroom tile. <laughs> I mean, you're a female trying to do man and voice stuff. Well, you know, you know, he's redoing a '73 <laughs> Chevy <laughs> Stepside truck. Jackson, he's your, redoing. Your dad's a, being really mean. He's redoing Did a '73 Stepside yeah. Chevy pickup truck. So when his truck gets done, you should probably go over and now. criticize yeah. his lines. He's gonna stab me now. <laughs> Jackson doesn't like it when he I was when I. On me. It wasn't nice at all. Jackson doesn't like it when I act misogynistic. Uh oh. He really does, and he gets upset. <laughs> See his face? <laughs> That's serious. I've turned. But nobody. That's yours. Go on. It's all good, I've buddy. I've turned the children. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed me by my throat, too. <laughs> Ooh, no, you, you, know, you had that coming. Well, he's like that with all women. He really is very, like, a very. It's because protective. he's a sweet Opens the door for women. He likes yeah. to do that kind of stuff. He's a sweet They are boy. lining up. Uh oh, they are. There goes Steve. I heard the tea bucket just took yep. off. Are they going to do a. Um, I think they're doing a little bit of burnouts. They're, uh, they're yeah. laying a little bit of rubber down. They're going to be laying some rubber down. Uh -huh. got somebody out there with the camera? Um, I, I don't Can we wish. turn the camera around we and have, like, do a whole. We have one on there out there. Oh, but okay. I think, I think me, Julian, and I, and your brother out there? Yeah, where's the boys with the right camera? At the moment, okay. uh, that camera can't see as far up there, and we're not going to be able to show it on video, yeah. anyways. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Got it. Well. Yeah, I'm tired. We'll Today was a long day of uh, stomping ground. Knocking on doors. Out there knocking and doors. Oh, yeah. Stumping and thumping. I actually had a, I actually had somebody message me about a certain candidate that uh, was out in myself for an hour, or a uh, Devoe out doing a lit drop or a touch and go. And 
Yeah. He was like, hey, I just seen your buddy. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know what you're talking about. Wait, what happened? You have to water Mr. Mr. Am Mr. Abadonza was doing a touch and go out in the Devoe, and somebody had inboxed me a picture of him doing a touch and go. Oh, really? We got smoke. He's out there working hard. Yeah, it, it's, 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 a rough, it's a rough is. thing to be out there. I know he had a good fundraiser on Wednesday night. I went out there for a bit. I heard it was packed. It was a good turnout. It was very hard. busy, and, you know, a lot of really great people showed up and showed out. He's... You know, had a band had, there. Gave a, he gave a good speech. I get it a lot of the time. I actually had somebody inbox. I was not inboxing. I was talking to um, Lori Joe earlier. Yeah, she was and there. I, I was wanted to her. make, and I, 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 I do want to make it abundantly clear after this tea bucket gets done. No, it ain't the tea bucket. That was the orange 67 Camaro. Oh. What's that? Yeah, yeah we got smoke. smoke on our camera. We can see that, but it's just uh, pretty far away. But uh, if, if the debate did come down, I would treat him the same way I would treat everybody else. Well, I Absolutely. Hope so. We'll give them yeah. all equal time. Yeah, well, equal time and equal treatment. I wouldn't be a, myself <laughs> is the best the way to put it. Show. But, you know, and, and it, it is a good thing that he's getting out there and getting the message out he's, there, and that's the and important doing, part of it. He's doing work, man. It's, you know, it's not easy. It's, it's hard to, your legs are tired and you're sore and you, you know, you repeat yourself a lot of times. And Speaking of which, and I'm sorry to cut you off, yeah. this is a very, very, very important point I want to make on Niagara Graffiti right now. Uh-oh. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, my man Dante has a fundraiser. Yes. I it's capped Willow. off. At a hundred people, and last I seen, he only had twenty-five. Thing pre-orders. is, pre-orders. That's pre-orders. Yeah, those are pre-orders. Mm -hmm. Now I know a lot of people are like, "Am I going to see?" I don't go to fundraisers. I'm sorry. You're I, not going to go. I don't. I don't. Why I, would you not go? I never go to fundraisers. You should really go. I, ne I never go. To, I actually have my ticket bought for I have me. Two tickets. Would you like to come I, and accompany I, me? No, I've already had one bought for me. Oh. Uh, Miss Baldwin sent in the money and yeah. said, "Yeah, you're talking to You should come. But my thing is, is that. Um, there's other people that need to hear what's being said, and I never like take if it was something that like if it was Tim's fundraiser, I would go. But you because wouldn't go to I, no, no, but I mean, Tim does something more of a oh, here we outside Steve up in the box. Mm -hmm. let's just get everybody there type of thing, okay. you know, where Dante's thing isn't a smaller thing. And most of you guys is stone room that's too small for me, okay? You gotta. Space issue, like too many people in a I don't, small yeah, space. Yeah, I get claustrophobic. Exactly, I get claustrophobic. Right. Well, it's better than the agoraphobia, yeah. which is out in public. You know what? And if, if it was out in, like, say, Gill Creek or something like that, I probably would pop in. Okay. But you can't you can't properly oh, that was a hold a fundraiser with that many things. That was a with people day. coming in. Gotcha. White convertible. Yeah, in a lot of ways. He said that they, the maximum capacity for his fundraiser is 100. Yes. Yeah, he's and doing that at, uh, what is that, the old High Park Cafe. Is, at uh, the High Park Cafe. Yep. Yes. So, I mean, my, my hope would be that there would just constantly be a revolving a flow. A flow. door of, of people coming and going. Kind no, of like, I, I say that I don't go to them things. Chances are I'll be there tomorrow. I'm not even I'll going give you a ride. I have two tickets, yeah. and you're welcome I'll to give you a ride. I'll pick you up. I, I might. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll We've go. got a blue Impala pulling in now to do a burnout. They're like... Okay. Only because it's Dante. Anybody else that can... Well, Dante's a good friend to all of us. I love Dante. He's a personal friend as well as... Even though Dante supporters. don't like fat people. Well, he, he likes he us. Did he say that specifically? Well, I think he likes us. No, I I'm feel fat. Like he, that's something I just that kind of feel it. <laughs> I feel it in my soul. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. at that. That is a Volkswagen... Is that a Passat? Louis Vuitton. Yes. That's what it looked like. It was a Louis Vuitton paint job with a luggage rack on the top. Look at these bad boys just lighting it up out yeah, there. Yeah, buddy. They are putting on a show. Well, if y'all come out here to the, the Frontier Fire Department on Liberty Drive, we are not going to have any mosquitoes tonight because they are putting on one hell of a smoke show. One hell of a smoke show. There will not be any mosquitoes like out here. I a lot of tires over there. So it's let me not ask. fiscally responsible. Do you have any events coming up? I do not. I had one As event yet. Uh, last of yet. month. Yeah, I, I don't have anything together right now. Right now, I'm solely focused on doors and yeah. people and knocking and walking. Yeah. Um, I probably should try to put together another event. Yes, we However, will. However, I have yet to begin the plans to do so. Well, I have to inbox you later on about an idea that I ran by Tim oh, yesterday. Nice. Yes. Because Tim, Tim brought it up to me. Tim is actually the one that said, you know what? 
Colin doesn't have a fundraiser coming up, and I was like, no, you know, I do not. I could steal an idea from somebody else, but we, we, we definitely want to get what you an idea Aww, about it. I love ideas. And if anybody else has any ideas, by all means, send us a message. Again. Send Colin a message. Hey. Colin, what's your email? How can people get in touch with you? Uh, you can reach me at colinforcouncil at gmail.com. Colin, C O L I N 1 L. For counsel, F O R counsel at gmail.com. Got any ideas? Want to make a donation? By all means, hit her up. Give her a call. Her phone number is actually on her palm cards. What's your phone number? You know what? Uh oh. She doesn't even know her own phone number. Oh, look, she's got some cards right here for us. That would be 716 716 427 4009. You can get in touch with Miss Ligamari if you'd like to get involved. I'm sure she would take all the volunteer help she can get if you'd I like to help would. her out on her campaign because I can speak from the same seat she's sitting in. One person running your campaign is a lot. It is a monumental task. And just to keep your schedule so that you don't miss events like this or fundraisers or anything like that, you, you've got to make time it's, to knock on doors, and that takes a lot. And especially with the grassroots candidates that, that, that aren't being back. Corporately back. Yeah. And, and people, people understand that when you have these candidates knock on your door, I know it may be an inconvenience to you. They may be bothering your dinner or something like that. But please understand, they're just trying to show you who they are and to get your vote. They want to, if you have any questions or concerns, they're there to listen. Yeah. They're taking time out of their day to knock on your door. Think about it You like have this. their undivided attention. You can, you can sit with a candidate for 15 minutes or you can allow a candidate to make choices for your life for four years. Four years. Yeah. These people are going to be making those choices for four years. What do we got? We got a video screen going up, it looks like. Are they going to play a movie? Movie screen. We got an inflatable like large movie, movie screen up. over by the, the food. We do still have 50 50 going on, as well as a basket raffle, and there's the lottery tree that'll be drawn tomorrow. Hamburgers and hot dogs. Hamburgers being cooked. and hot dogs are still being cooked. For the record, the hamburgers are $3 for a hamburger and a bag of chips, and the hot dogs are $2 for a hot dog and a bag of chips, which really isn't bad considering that everything that's going on out here. You can come out here and get yourself a, a, a hamburger and, and a drink for five bucks. But I'm going to tell you right now, and, and, enjoy and Kenny, if you're listening to this, you better bring my damn Thank macaroni and cheese back here from Bolify. Yeah. I better get some macaroni. You better not even taste it to see know, if it's good. I know I'll if we do say, it myself. I know if we say Bolify one more time, <laughs> Paul better give us some free food. Paul Cadella, if you're listening, we're out here at the Frontier <laughs> Fire Hall on Liberty Drive. Yeah, Paul, we want some free food, I really food, want Paul. to get out of here so I can try out that barbecue pulled pork macaroni and cheese because when I seen that, I was like, maybe we should cancel this event. Here we go. Here we go. We got this bad boy right here. Some Paula going to go right in front of us. Got some center line wheels on it. No hood, no inner fenders. I met that guy that. walking today. Did you? I oh, did. Oh, you knocked on his door? I knocked on his door. Nice. See, I talked to him about that car while he was working on it to get ready for tonight. He lives on D Street? Uh, out in LaSalle. So oh, he's in LaSalle? I'd have to go back over my notes, but mm. yeah. We talked about his car for a little bit. A lot of nice cars here. No, other than that say, white, that little I white. Because he doesn't have a hood on it. Is that the one that was over there by where uh, uh, we were doing, where, where, where Dr. Barry had her graduation party? Um, no, that was saw, a Maverick. No, there was a Maverick from on the other side of the field. There was a mm, I don't remember seeing it. Oh, these guys are starting up the St. Johnsburg oh, fire truck here. All I can hear in the headphones, too. Yep. Yeah. So we got cars out here that are. <laughs> Smoking wow. their tires off. It's the old, the old oh, yeah. 55 Chevy just lit some tires up. <laughs> what do we got? The, oh, that 79 Z28 is getting ready to light them up. The uh, black Z28. Let me see. <laughs> the black 79 Z28 is getting it's ready to light difference. them up. Let's hear this baby rumble. It's picking up all the mic sound from there, from the road. and That's because we have good equipment. Very good. Well, we got the wonderful wizard over there. The wonderful wizard of Vox. Mr. Green is doing a wonderful thing. So, yeah, Ms. Cullen, is, is there anything you want to get out to our viewers? Oh. Well, I wasn't prepared to do uh, an interview, so I didn't think oh, about it. Oh, no, this it. is all just impromptu. We just grabbed yeah. while you were walking yeah. by. So, I'd like to remind people that uh, voting is November 2nd. Mm -hmm. Scoot up closer to the mic because that truck's a little loud. Yeah, I hear it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, voting is November 2nd, and uh -huh. uh, that's what's coming to mind right now. Well, you can still register voters up until October 4th. And yeah. you can do that. And they can also get mail-in ballots because there's going to be early voting two weeks before yep. November 2nd. So they can mail in those ballots and put your name right on those ballots. They can check your name on there. Those ballots count just like the ones you cast on November 2nd. And early voting starts October 23rd. Yes. Wasn't that your birthday? That's my birthday. It's her birthday. See, I got a great it's memory. Scorpio season. <laughs> Oh, man, that's terrible. <laughs> so people need to make sure you get informed, get out and vote, do your due diligence, do some research on these people. They're going to be making choices for you for the next four years. Four years. Benedict is going to be there for 10 years if he wins. You know, these are important things that a lot of people complain about the things that happen around here. This is your chance this to actually your, have some input on what they do. This is your chance to have people that you're willing to talk to once they get elected. And stop voting and leaving your, your responsibilities at the booth. You know, and, and like Tim said, do your due diligence. Go through and, and talk to the, every candidate that I've ever reached out, whether they like me or not, is willing to talk to me. Oh, absolutely. Well, minus you know, one. Yeah, I, and I honestly, know one doesn't like to. You know, it's so Nobody important does. to have that, <laughs> that input prior to, right? Yeah. Like, I want to go into the position with the knowledge that was given to me by mm -hmm. real people by yeah. the actual citizens that live here, so. Hey, who's the one person you've gotten a lot of knowledge from lately? There's one guy I know that stands out that I am Frank just, Soda. Frank Soda. Man, you know, we he has been such a good thing for the council. I just drove past him on my way here. He has Did been you? such a good thing for the city council. I wish we He's could wonderful. keep him on there. He is so knowledgeable. He stands up to the city administration when he sees they're doing something wrong. He doesn't let that shit slide. Rules you, and we policies need people. Frank Soda. We need people like that to call this shit out, get it stopped, straighten it out, don't let it continue. Because that's no. why we're in the hole we're in right now. And we need somebody like Frank Soda to kick around. Frank, if you're listening, run again, please. I will help you campaign. I will help you any way that I can. Please. Did you ask him to be on your show? We have well, we're going to work our way there. I'm actually booked. We're actually booked up to the 28th of next month. We're okay. trying to get you candidates. Seconds. We're trying to give you candidates a, a platform so you can get your message out first. Yeah. We'd rather have educated voters now so yeah. that way when, yeah. when they can get out and they actually make it a good yeah. educated vote. And at the same time, though, Sam is putting getting candidates on his show, and we don't want to get them too much too close together. I understand. That makes sense. Um, and And we might be able to switch up different ones, like if he wants to... You know, uh, interview Abadaza or maybe me we should, or whoever. You know, it, it might be best to go back and forth with the different candidates. Maybe we way. should beg Peter to to give us a two-hour show. We should. Uh, we could do a back-to-back. -back. We could do one candidate at the first hour and one candidate at the second hour. Or we can have him do like Joe Rogan and give us a four-hour show and we can hey, do them all at once. I'm down. I'm up for it, man. <laughs> you know what? It's knowledge is power. Talking. It is. But knowledge yeah. is power. We need to get mm -hmm. our voters educated so that way they can't sit back and say, oh, I'm sick of this shit. I didn't vote for this person. Well, guess what? Well, if you're educated, maybe you would have. Educated voters are not. It's, it's the ability for them to go out and do their own work in their own community and, and take back their own damn community and stop relying on government. Government can only do so much. And I guarantee you people... You don't want government making your life rules and regulations for you. No, we don't. You know, so all, like even today, what I was talking about with the, the high school issue, there's things that the community needs to do before they can go to the government and say, fix this shit. The government is not your baby daddy. Nope. Responsibility starts at home first. But you know what, everybody? We're going to go ahead and flip over to the, to the parking lot cam. Because I need to smoke a cigarette. I probably shouldn't have said that on air. Oh, yeah, but me too. It's okay. Oh, my I, gosh. I can't help it. I, I need a fat break. <laughs> I'm going to go walk around. I'm going to go watch these burnouts up here. Yeah. Let's we'll see if we can get the camera up here, the remote Jackson. camera. He's around here somewhere. He's behind you. Oh, he's not very far away. Colin's here. You he's know probably he's still away. hiding from Kenny. Aww, he's such a good boy. But we're going to go see if we can get a remote camera out here and get some of these burnouts on before they're all done and everybody doesn't have any tires left. Come on out, join us. It's a family-friendly event. It is free of charge. We're at the Frontier Fire Hall on Liberty Drive. Touch a truck still going on. I see a video screen put up. They may be putting on a movie. Okay. We do have fireworks that are fireworks going to happen come. around 9 o'clock tonight when the car show is over with. They are going to be awarding trophies to some of these cars in here. And um, by all means, come down, say hey, join us. Oh, you know what? I, something just dawned on me, too. We will see Miss Ligamari before that. Miss Lagmari is going to be my co-host 
for when we do uh, the the 11 o'clock interview with Colin. Uh, oh yes, Cormac Russell. Cormac Russell. I'm so excited about that show. It's yeah. going to be amazing. You guys are like groupies or something. Man, well, I'm here to listen, tell you, I love Cormac. This man is a keynote speaker. He's brilliantly smart. He has excellent, excellent. ideas. And he's one of them people that are out there in, in you know, everywhere. He, he's based in the UK, but he's been in Africa. He's been in. You know, America. He's a teacher at, at the University of Chicago. All right, you guys go ahead and keep talking. You know, I'm going to the burnouts. I need to smell some burning rubber. Yeah, hey, Tim, see you all in that, a little bit. That's Tim's testosterone right there, that burning rubber. Bye, Tim. Thank you, Tim. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do I have to say? I'm thank you, like he's not my co host. Hey, I appreciate your interview, bud. We appreciate you. I'm the <laughs> co host now. Yeah. <laughs> this would be exactly what it would be like on the first. <laughs> right. But, uh, you, know, you know, there's there's other interviews coming up, like uh, next week, next Friday. We have a uh, uh, Niagara Falls school board member, Niagara Falls Firefighter Earl Bass coming on. The week after that, we have Niagara Falls School District Superintendent Mark Laurie coming on. Well, that'll be a good one. You know, in the studio. Yeah. And then we have Cormac on the first. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to uh, see if we can tie some Niagara Falls correlation to some of the work that Cormac does. Yes, yeah. I actually would love to see if I can get a way to get Cormac here, even if it's in Buffalo. To where maybe the mayor can put somebody that's in charge of CD here in his program or even send him to this program online. We can pressure him. Yeah, because honestly, I believe that what Cormac has to offer absolutely. is absolutely He's a wealth of knowledge. He's, you know, he's been doing this for a long time and, you know, his, his TED Talk alone yeah. is, um, you know, full of oh. useful information. Apparently, we have noise cancellation abilities. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, okay. Tim has a really, really good mic, apparently. <laughs> Tim had the loud mic. <laughs> well. All right. Oh, yeah. Should we watch Cars? Or? We should. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's we appreciate you, Colin. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, whatever you are, bud, let's go. And we're back. I just, oh, I thought I blew my mic. I was about to say, some bitch. No. Um, listen, everybody, thank you for joining us for another Friday evening on Niagara Graffiti. We are going to go ahead and break down our uh, podcast here, but we'll still be out here. They'll be out here. They're getting ready to do the, the, the raffle here in about two minutes. And they will be out here until about 10 o'clock with the yeah. fireworks. i got to win that 50-50 so I can donate the money yeah. back. we got to get this firehouse some help. Yep. And uh, some money so they can get some equipment. Even if you don't come out here, really, really consider going to the Frontier Fire Hall and, and donating something. Well, they're going to be you here know. tomorrow. They do yeah. have a thing going on tomorrow. They do have a band that's going to be playing here. It is another 9-11 tribute. Um, they are going to do the uh, raffle for the lottery ticket tree that they have. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's um, I think she said around 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow as well. Yeah. They do have a live band going to be here from 9 to 11, I believe she told me, 8 to 11. 8 to 11. But uh, we missed the burnout thing. We couldn't get up there to get on the burnouts. We did get to see the smoke from back here because we're all the way at the back of the parking lot. But well, um, I'm sure Mr. Barnes posted, and I'll see if we're able to use it from his page. And we might be able to grab some of those screenshots from him or videos from him. Yeah. I'm wondering what movie's going to be on there, though. I, would, I didn't get a chance to see what movie was going to be on, but I see they got a screen set up. And uh, we are going to have fireworks around 9 o'clock. They do have to do, I think they're getting ready to do the trophies here pretty soon for the car show. Now, as far as the fireworks go, we probably can be able to live stream that with our phone on the thing. Well, Yeah, I'll probably do a Facebook fire- Live, I'm thinking. Yeah, fi- fireworks don't always turn out so best with the, with the lights. But we did have a good turnout for the show. There was a lot good. of people walking around. Um, yeah. You know, we had a lot of people here. Sheriff El said he was here, obviously. And we obviously had Mike Benedict, Colin Ligamari was on with us. Dave Florio yep. just showed up. Dave His Florio tour ended there. up, so he showed up here and come over and say hi and everything else. And we need to make sure that everybody remembers that tomorrow, Jackson. what the meaning of it is. 20 the years ago, 20 years ago, one of the worst terrorist attacks on the country yes. happened. And we need to remember those people that, that didn't run away from it, that actually ran towards it to try and help the people that were that were still able to be helped. And then obviously the, the nasty recovery mission that went on for months after that happened. Uh, if you and even now with the trauma and the PTSD that a lot of them guys are going through. And if you guys haven't been there and you get a chance, go to New York City. Go to where the World Trade Center was and go to the yeah. reflection pool there that they have, the monument. I've been there a couple times myself. Yeah. It is a very, very nice tribute. They do have uh, another World Trade Center set up there. They did build the new one. I think it's the Freedom Freedom Tower, I think. Freedom Tower, yeah. yeah. Um, World Trade but, One. But the... Uh, the memorial that they have there is outstanding. Yes. It's a very somber thing. All the names are etched in the black marble that they have there. The uh, the pools are really cool. How they drain down into the center where the site where the actual towers were. Yeah. Um, if you get a chance, go there and you know by all means remember the people that were that were running towards the people that needed help. Those are the people that we're we're remembering tomorrow and we're celebrating. Um, you know, God bless them. Yeah. They were there to help. They, Some of them paid the ultimate price, but uh, I'm sure they did it willingly knowing that they were there to help people. It's, you know, They knew that when they went in there, and they still went anyway. Some of them left families behind. In a lot of ways, that is the epitome of America. And a lot of our good men and women run towards danger even when it doesn't have nothing to do with them. And those people are being, some of them are being criticized in some of the areas about the pay that they get. You know yeah. what? It, disgusting. You know, when you need those people, they're coming. Yeah. You're going to tell them, no, don't help me because you get paid too much. No, you're going to need their help. Let them help you. They yeah. appreciate it. And, you and, appreciate it. And speaking of which, speaking of one of them people, our next episode, next Friday, we have Niagara Falls firefighter, Niagara Falls school board member. Mr. Bass. Mr. Earl Bass coming on the show. Um and we're just going to talk about a lot of different stuff that's going on, current state of events that's going on in the city. And following that, we have Niagara Falls City School District Superintendent Mark Laurie coming on the show. Yes. So why everybody, you know, between now and then, if you have any questions for them that you feel like you can't get answered, by all means, send them questions, post them on our page. You know, we got, we got the event set up just for that reason, for people to go on there and give us the questions that you want to ask because we will ask them. And on a side note, I'm a little upset with Mr. Tompkins because he sent me a message that uh, 
bowl of fries sold out. I did not get my barbecue pulled pork macaroni cheese and I can't wait for them to open <laughs> when they get that place opened up, and that's going to be on the regular menu. Yep. You can bet your bottom dollar they're probably going to get to know me on a first-name basis. Uh, hopefully, Paul does well there, Paul Cadella. Hopefully, his business takes off, and uh, I'm sure they're going to have a good product, and I'm yep. sure they're going to have at least one good customer. Uh, I may just sign my paycheck over to them every other week. And... The, the ambiance is really nice, too. <laughs> the ambiance looks real playful, bright, you know, nice. And um, uh, we're getting ready to have some fireworks here. Like I said, I think they're getting ready to do the car show trophies. Yes. Uh, by all means, bring the kids out for the car show. So, uh, they haven't broke down yet. I see some lights. Some some of these cars have some custom lights on them and stuff like that. Uh, we are going to be doing fireworks. I'm sure the kids will enjoy that. It is family friendly and it is free to anybody that wants to come on out. And like I said, tomorrow they are having another party here. And uh, it's also going to be a fundraiser for the fire hall so they can get the equipment they need and some training that they're going to need and everything else. Obviously, we need to support those guys. Um, but uh, we also got Porch Fest coming up yep. in the city of Niagara Falls. They're, um, September 18th. The 18th. And from what I understand, the organizer contacted us. They are looking for bands that are interested in playing in some of these porches and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you, uh, you know, you're a band or... You want to just go out and hang out for a little while, grab a guitar, grab a microphone, sing for a little bit. Uh, we need to grow this event. This is another grassroots event yeah. that's going to be happening in the city. Uh, we can showcase some of the, the nice homes and porches and things down there. And, and it's just nice to get to know some of the people in the neighborhood. Well, we did a we did a um, uh, jam lemonade stand there two, two porch fests ago. And it, they, they do have a lot of nice people to come through, and it, it is a good time. You know, you bring your chairs, you watch the bands, you get the food truck or whoever's out there. And it is a free event as well. Yep. That's a community free event. Come on down, participate in it. Just walk around. Even if you just get to know some people, say, hey, how you doing? I like your porch. Uh, you know, great music that's playing. Mm -hmm. It's an evening out that doesn't break the bank. Now, additionally, to, with that whole event, all of the, all the bands that get out there are basically out there off a of tip basis donating their time. So if you do go out there, you know, keep that in mind and, and, and throw the musicians. They're, they're good musicians. You know, you get a lot of different, um, like the slobber knockers and stuff like that going to Porch Fest. You know, it's a good time. Like I said, we were out there. And it's always nice to go out and do things in the community, you know. Also, again, tomorrow is Mr. Dante Miles' fundraiser. Yes. You know, um, get out there and see my boy Dante. If you can't, you know, throw him a little something. Um, but other than that, you got anything you want to end with there, my man? Um, well, you're going to catch us over there at Dante's Chicken and Waffles. Yep. It's going to be at uh, the Hyde Park Cafe. Starts at 3 o'clock. We're going to be there for that. Um, I mean, I'm thinking I'm going to swing back over here and uh, check out the band and everything and mm -hmm. see how everything's going with that. Uh, that's going to be something that's, <gasps> you know, like I said, it's for a good cause. So we definitely want to get out and, and obviously do the best we can. Uh, if anybody else has got any kind of events or anything like that going on, you need some help promoting your stuff. Yeah. You know, let us know. We like to let the community know where there are good events that are coming up, especially the family-friendly ones because, you know, the season's starting to change now, starting to get cold. So we're going to – I think the uh, the pumpkin spice craps already hit all the, the coffee shops yeah. and everything else. Three but, um, you know, pay attention. You got uh, six city council candidates running around that are uh, – you know, looking to get elected, there's three seats that are available. We got a couple legislator races going on. We got a, a county judge race that's going on. People need to make sure you are informed. Get to if you've got questions, contact these people. Whether it be through Facebook, their you know, regular phone numbers. A lot of them have campaign pages on Facebook. We also have links to some of those. We're going to be putting up all the yep. links that we have. We've had guests come going on here. People need to educate yourself. These are going to be the people that are going to be making decisions for you in government for the next four years for the council, two years for the legislator, 10 years for the county judge. And in a lot of ways, the ramifications are longer than just the four years that they're in office, depending on what happens. Yeah, I um, mean, the, the choices they make could affect us for, you know, 10 plus years. Yep. So and educate we, yourselves. We will get the, give you the best information possible, but at the same time, it, it should be on you because some people like liver, some people don't. I don't. You know, I don't either. You <laughs> put that shit in Give front me of. a big, fat, juicy steak, and I'm good <laughs> to go. 
But I uh, got some deer meat getting ready to be cooked on the grill tomorrow too. I'm going to throw some deer steak on the grill. That's and uh, good. tomorrow, just to, for all you hunters out there, tomorrow is the opening day for the early doe season. Oh. We have a 9A and 9F, I believe it is. Um, anybody going out there in the woods tomorrow or for the next couple of days? It's uh, from the 11th to the 20th, I believe. Mm. You guys be safe. Shoot straight. Um, you know, make sure you guys humanely take care of your deer. Mm -hmm. And by all means, if you shoot it, you got to grill it. Yes, if sir. you kill it, you got to grill it, as Uncle Ted says. Respect that meat. It's it's good stuff, you yeah. know. But anyway, we're going to kick on out of here. Hope you all had a good time with us. I uh, hope everybody has a good, safe weekend. And like I said, remember your first responders and, you know, your veterans and people tomorrow. Tomorrow's a, a good day. Let's not forget uh, 20 years ago we had the worst terrorist attack on this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we haven't forgotten that. We have not forgotten that at all. And we definitely don't want to forget about the people that were going in there, the heroes that went in to try and help people. And God bless the ones that ended up making the ultimate sacrifice. But you know what? We're still going to remember them. Their memories will live on. Yes, sir. So, everybody have a good night. If you get a chance, come out to Frontier Fire Hall on Liberty Drive. Fireworks are going to be starting in about an hour. 50-50 raffles should be going any minute now. Trophies will be going out. And uh, have a good, safe weekend, everybody. See you next week, Niagara Graffiti.